Alright everybody, today we got this old school classic Sega Dreamcast. Yes, the Sega Dreamcast. I'm not sure how many people out there still have one, but if you still have a Sega Dreamcast, this system is a classic. Like, Sega set the bar in so many ranges with this system, it's ridiculous. I mean, the system, like, the controller had a screen in it. I mean, look at this. What other video game system nowadays in 2015 have a screen in the controller? Mine's a little dirty. I mean, obviously, I haven't played it in years. But at the time this system came out, it was a classic. Let, let's go through a quick rundown of, you know, what the system looked like. What, you know, the, you know, the processor, the type of disc it took, all that good stuff. So when the system came out, it came packed with a modem so on the side here you have a detachable 56k modem now back then broadband wasn't really the standard back then I think this was like year 1999 2000 somewhere around there broadband just wasn't the standard there is a broadband adapter for the Dreamcast but I don't have that one the one I have here is a 56k modem takes you know your typical phone line cord you plug it to the wall it'll dial up you get that long you know that loud noise you know all that good stuff and it'll connect to the internet but <clears throat> the kids these days they don't know nothing about that so look at the back of my system here this one is manufactured October year 2000 October system still works though system was just a beast. It had some classic titles such as Sonic Adventure, Ready to Rumble Boxing, uh, House of the Dead, I think that was the name of it. Um, I think I said Sonic Adventure already. That was like the main primary game I played was Sonic Adventure. When Sonic Adventure came out, that it was just, just, it was just amazing. That's all I can say. So, uh, you know, just a quick overview of the system. You have four controller ports on the front. Uh, on the side, you have a little stamp that says compatible with Windows CE. I'm not sure what that is, but that's what Google come in. I will ask Google, but I'll do that later. You have a little fan vent on the side. The detachable 56K modem. Get some heat vents on the bottom. Some heat vents on the back. The plug for the 56K cord cable. AC plug. A serial adapter, I guess, for programming the system, and your AV, which is audio video output. So, also back then, there wasn't no 720p, 1080p, 4K, high definition, ultra definition. Nah, nah, none of that. Standard definition composite cables, uh, red, yellow, and white cables, or you may get lucky and have S video. I'm not even sure if S video was out when Dreamcast was out. So, of course, this was Sega's, I think, third system that took this. The first system being, I think, the Sega CD, which attached to the Sega Genesis. Um, then you had the Sega Saturn. And then you had the Sega Dreamcast, which you have here. So, of course, I still got my Sonic Adventure 2 disc. Like, this system still works. I could put this in, hook it up right now. My kids would have no idea, you know, what kind of world we came from back in the day you know we this is the dreamcast like they there's kids out there that don't, that don't know nothing about this here's the controller a little quick run view of the controller yes i said it's a little dirty it's been sitting in a box all this time but it still works you get a rumble adapter here make the controller vibrate when you're playing here's the memory card for the system you can take it out play games on the go sleep mode you can connect two memory cards together and transfer data between the two under the back here is where you put in your two flat watch batteries in there you know this this is this is ridiculous sega has some serious on their hands what happened to dreamcast i missed this system what happened sega dreamcast so but anyways my Dreamcast still works. It still powers up. So this is the outside of the system. 
this is what the outside looks like I do have my screw my screws out because if you notice my system is black and white I had cross matched my system with a Sega Sports Edition Dreamcast the sports edition back then was the black color and I think it shipped with games like I want to say NFL 2K NBA 2K2 those kind of games the Sega Sports games back in the day there was a system back then that was all black you know I just could, took the system apart I kept the black shell and matched it with the white shell on the bottom you know just some little little modifications I made there but let's take a look at the inside of the system like I said I have the screws out so let's put the disc to the side just lift the shell off here so this is the inside of the Sega of the Sega Dreamcast right here you have a GD ROM which stands for Giga Disk Read Only Memory this here is a Giga Disk not a compact disk not a CD ROM not a DVD ROM but Sega called these GD ROMs which stands for Giga Disk Read Only Memory the thing about these discs were they were supposed to be able to fit one gigabyte of data <coughs> on these discs and back then that was supposed to help with the, the you know to stop the pirating of the games back then but back in those days they would just take a, a Dreamcast disc take out you know unneeded videos unneeded data and fit the disc onto a CD-ROM which back then people just burnt to CDR and the Dreamcast played them you know so bootleg and Dreamcast games were pretty easy back in the day um, but back to the rundown of the system here on the side you have your power strip kind of like a power supply unit of a computer you got your controller deck here let's see if I can bring it a little closer you get your controller deck for your four ports um, right here you got your fan underneath all this is the actual motherboard of the Dreamcast and then right here like I said it's the gigadisc read-only memory it's the kick the gigadisc laser that read the disc so uh, I'm just sit that back in like I said my system still works and I want to keep it working you know I don't you know I, I should probably put the screws back but it's been working all these years anyway so of course you slap the disc on there's a little button back here when you close the tray it will press this button and then that would tell the system hey the lid is closed read the disc and of course the disc will spin up and start to read so but anyways this is the Sega Dreamcast. Like I said, my system was manufactured in year 2000, October 2000. So let me put this back together. I don't want no damages. Uh, 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 uh. And put that back in, you know. Bam. There it is. Like I said, it's the Sega Dreamcast. It's a classic. I would hook it up to the TV, but I don't think that's necessary. But if y'all do want to see me hook it up to the TV, just leave a comment below. If I get a certain number of views, certain number of subscribers, you know, certain number of comments, then maybe I'll go to extra mile, hook it up to the TV, so y'all can see what it looks like. But to all them kids out there who don't know what to say a Dreamcast is, this is it. This system pioneered Xbox One. It pioneered the original Xbox, pioneered the PlayStation. This system set the bar. You had discs. You had internet, you had controller with a screen in it. It didn't get no better than that. So that's the Sega Dreamcast. Like I said, if you got any questions, comments, leave them below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go tell your friends. We got more videos coming. If you like my videos, hit like, subscribe. I already said it. You already know what to do. It's your boy Randall D, aka Fiber Optics RLD. And they know my slogan. They gonna learn today. All right, I'm out.